a video of J. Okay, so we're here. We're about to smoke. I just rolled up. My hair looks kind of crazy. My extension literally keeps popping out of my head, so I'm just trying to shove it in. Also, I'm currently watching this literal like ABC 2020 uh, thing or whatever. It's called Escape from the Horror House or the House of Horrors. Oh my god, this shit is so juicy. I'm literally obsessed. The fact that I had to pause it just to start this video, like... Music. Anyways, so if y'all... If y'all are watching this, y'all better be sparking up with me. So cheers, everybody. start out by priming my skin like normal. <coughs> it's kind of annoying because... Ooh. I primed with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this. Too Faced All Nighter. I mean, I'm not even going out, but I don't know. I don't know why I just did that for a... I tan my whole body. I'm nice and tan today, but I am <coughs> wearing this long sleeve shirt, so... I mean, we'll change that later, like, you know, to finish off the look. Let's get into it. Up right now, or doing my foundation right now. It's the Too Faced uh, Born This Way uh, matte foundation. Okay, I'm putting on my powder right now. I just put on my foundation. I just tan, so right. We're gonna have to put on a lot of bronzer to make my body match because I stopped being, you know, a little depressive and not keeping up with my... I feel like you know I'm literally sad if I'm not self-tanning. Like, I'm not even joking. Like... <gasps> okay. Okay. Um... If only y'all could see the powder that's literally on my entire leg hey i was literally just out here watching my girl jade when i was doing my fucking eyebrows jade if you're watching this hey bitch i'm watching your video <laughs> i'm a sleepy puppy that is my baby that is my baby zeus let's hit this a little bit and then we're gonna bronze the literal dog shit out of my face <laughs> because hi hello Casper, nice to meet you. Like, what's up, girl? How have you been? Um, I put in a lot of work to these eyebrows, and I feel like they look absolutely spectacular. Like, yeah. And I'm well aware that one of my eyebrows is higher than the other. It's just the way my fucking face is set up. All right, guys? Um, I just, I, I want a dark, smoky eye. That's just the moment I'm looking for. It's just what I'm here for, okay? Anyways, dipping into my bronzy onzer. We're about to go crazy, because once again, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the color we're trying to match. <coughs> and um, I'm scared. So let's say our prayers. A way lighter color. Um, and I'm just going to dust this all over my skin. Just to take away this fucking white cast that's happening and by white cast I mean my literal face okay so that helped a lot by um just dusting a little bit of a warmer color all over my skin but I'm just gonna continue doing my bronzer and then we're gonna get into blush I do have lash extensions on but guess what 
I'm going to put on lashes over top of them because I just need my lashes to look dramatic. I need them to look big. I want them to look juicy. I've been watching a lot of Jordan Lishcomb. I fucking love her. And one of her words that she uses is yummy for like describing things. And oh, that's the look I want to go for, bitch. I want that shit to be yummy. Okay. Bronze this sh bitch up. We're looking a lot more closer to this. I mean, my nose is still giving like bright white, but we'll get there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look what I've done. Like I have, I've made it match. We've made it match correctly. What is my, I'm thinking she's matching. Has my, has my track been out this whole time and y'all just weren't going to say a damn word. That's <laughs> kind of fucked up, but okay. Thanks guys the hell anyways same blush that i've been literally like using 24 7 i'm obsessed with this blush i also just contoured my nose it's just a nice i also contour above my lip and under my lip when i do my nose contour i just feel like that's essential everyone should do that it makes a fucking difference because when you put like foundation on, you put so many things on, it just takes like the the shape out of your face. You know what I mean? Like you need those natural contours and those whatever. And whatever. <laughs> Little absolutely zooted. But guess what? She's still alive. So hi, let's bring her back from the dead for a second. My back hurts. Okay. What's the type of... Ooh. Wait. Let me do this really quickly because I cut the sides of my cheeks, but I didn't cut right here. And I know my camera... Like, I need to get a new SD card because my... What's it called? My camera always stops me. It's like... Card is full. Yeah, well, guess what? Fuck you. That's how I feel about that. This video will definitely not get monetized. And you know what? Honestly, at this point, I don't care. Like, it is what it is. Maybe next week. We'll try again next week. Like, let, let's, you know what I mean? Tanologist, uh, self tan water in dark. I used to use this, but then I was using Loving Tan a lot. This is actually so much cheaper than Loving Tan. I think I'm gonna just start sticking to this juicy color like it's it's very much so giving i'm not a pale pasty ugly bitch anymore i love my life like truly i'm feeling gorgeous um i haven't done my makeup in a few days so i'm feeling like i'm about to have a rebirth um i was feeling really depressed feeling really sad now i'm feeling extremely high i'm feeling like it's thanksgiving tomorrow party time i'm feeling like i'm about to look cute that gets me very excited. I think I've talked about her before, but her channel is called Brisha Doss. She does like smoking videos. I fucking love her. She just gives such good vibes and mmm. I love her videos. But she always says like when you look your best, you feel your best. And I feel like I haven't been getting ready as much recently in the past couple days and I've been slacking. Let's put down a transition shade. The transition shade is going to help me blend out the dark ass shade that I'm going to be putting on my eyelid. So, transition shade that I'm literally using is actually the color that I just used to bronze my face. I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush and just like... We're not going to bring it all the way out. I have a lot of eyelid space, so I'm just the type of person, like, I like to bring my eyeshadow up high. But, you know what I mean? Like, to each their own. I like other eyeshadow shapes. I think they look cute on other people. But I just happen to do the same thing every time. Like a cat eye moment. That's a good base. She's looking cute. <sighs> Still recording. Is my track out? Someone check it. Let's take that brown I was going to use. So this one. This is like my favorite palette. I'm sorry. And we're gonna place her down on the lid with a flat packing brush. Okay. 
and I want to bring it as close to my lash line as possible dark browns like suit brown eyes really well I know it's weird because you know it's like brown on brown but I just think that it does um with this first brush I used I'm gonna blend it like a lot because this color always tends to stick in certain spots just because I don't know I don't know if it's because it's super matte it's a little chalky I'm not gonna lie some morphe morphe matte dark shades are a little chalky sometimes I like to do a defining line of powder just that way I can keep it as clean as possible okay I'm gonna wet the same brush that I was using before for the dark color and I'm gonna take this color I'm not I'm using a different one from the James Charles palette actually now this one right here oh that's giving so no um, okay, so let's get into blending this out, making it more juicy, dark, sultry. I'm going to use this little tiny brush, and I am going to go in with a little bit of black, because, hi, why not? We're already here. I'm going to do the famous Outer V that all the beauty gurus taught us in 2007. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And kind of go along my just natural crease in my eye going on here. now obviously we need to kind of blend these out and connect these the transition shade with the black we need something in between i'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter brown than the original one that i put on my lid and we're gonna like buff out the edges of this brat black okay me having a stroke actually i'm gonna go in with this brush this like flat angled guy and I'm gonna pop in a little bit of some yellow okay this is gonna be that shade that just brings the warmth I almost just like brush this on and we're gonna you know go back and blend everything but look at the warmth that this brings and just the difference oh she just looks gorgeous now like like do you see why I can't just like stay with these lashes I have to put more lashes on top I mean like it's it's not like it looks bad it still looks cute it definitely still looks cute but I just like a dark sultry pop moment I'm gonna make it a little messy cuz I'm gonna blend this out um, I'm gonna use a different one to tight line like to really get up in there this is this is a bitch to get off cuz it's literally waterproof but I'm gonna do it okay don't do what I just did and draw on your eye. I just don't know if that's really good. You know what? Instead of getting things situated, I just remember that there's still a blunt. So, and we are supposed to be smoking in this video. And I, oh. Hi, she's right here. I also gave my camera a little bit of a few minute charge in between. So, I think I'll be good to go, honestly. With filming and everything like that. Let's get our smudger brushes out. Like flat edged Natasha Denona palette. I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is a really good lash line shade. I literally think it's called lash line. It's fantastic for doing the lash line. Sorry, I keep looking over in the viewfinder to make sure that I'm in focus because I can't tell. I don't have my contacts in right now. I'm gonna stop doing it though, I promise. Scout's honor, you guys. Let's get into this. I don't want it to look too messy. That's why I'm going in so I can stamp it with this. Like as close as you can possibly get it to your waterline. No, because there's a difference between making it look 
and making it look messy and messy is not the vibe that I'm going for. Sometimes I honestly like that vibe and I want it to look more like smoky, grunge, I don't know. I'm going through something. You know what I mean? But that's not the vibe right now. Even though it's still dark and still smoky, I'm always going through something. You got like I'd rather just walk out the house with no makeup on if it's going to be a light, no makeup look. There's no point to wear makeup then if I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm going to use this shade right here. Sorry for the camera, but or the reflection. But I'm going to use this shade right here, and then I'm going to top everything off with this one. It's a blending process under here. I'm using this little pointy pencil brush to get like right up on that brown line or what black line oh that really did something like are y'all seeing this it's really doing something I always feel like one eye looks better than the other this eye definitely is giving better than the left one but whatever but my eyes have like some red amber vibes in them and I feel like it kind of is bringing that out a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see on effing camera. Kind of really lightly dust it over just to blend out the edges a little bit. I realized the other day that I don't know if you guys have Disney Plus and I don't know if you guys remember this show. But there was a show from 1999 on Disney Channel called um... Xenon and I think Raven Simone was in it okay um and they were literally in space and I realized the other day that it was on Disney plus and guess what guess who's gonna watch it me literally me um a couple days ago I literally just watched the last season of Hannah Montana which I've seen a million times but I watched the whole season in one night just because it felt right you know this song y'all by J.I. the Prince of New York I literally love this man I actually don't know anything about him personally when I really think about it, but I love his songs. This song used to, I found in one of my old playlists. Ah, it's so good. Highlighter now. All types of highlighter for my face, my eyes, all the yummy parts. Let's put on some lip balm while we're sitting here just so I can prep my lips for products. Cause my lips have been dry like really really dry recently because it's so fucking cold outside i'm using the same highlighter i always use the anastasia beverly hills um iced out highlighter this highlighter is bomb i'm gonna blend it out obviously but i always put on my highlight like in my inner corner like really really harsh and then i I blend out the edges because I just want it to be super pigmented like especially like when I have like a dark eye I love a nice bright inner highlight I'm giving elf right now no not elf I'm giving pixie I'm definitely giving pixie vibes my extensions are really pissing me off Hi. Hello. I ain't even trying to play these games no more. Deadass. Where the f Do 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 Okay. <sighs> Lips. Next liner in nutmeg. There's something in my nose. I'm literally drooling. <laughs> like, actually, I just started drooling. Nude truffle. This one's a lot more 
ashy toned brown. This one's a lot more red brown, the one that I just used. Ooh, Pink Dawes Cosmetics, um, lipstick in Pink Nougat. This is just one of my, like, just favorite colors. It's just the perfect nude toned pink, like, ah, uh, it, it does what it's supposed to do every single time. Perfect lip. I'm going to top off with gloss. I'm going to do my hair first and then get dressed and then put my gloss on just that way I don't really remove all that I've done. This will kind of stay in place if I don't put gloss on, so just give me a moment. Bear with me. And I'm going to transform into the look, okay? Hello, bye. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I topped my lips with this So Juicy ColourPop gloss. Um, I had a really fun time today, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.